What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and before we hop into the video and talk about what this video discussion is going to be about I want you all to comment down below right now. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 15 and whatever number of comment that is you will be able to come on in two weeks to discuss a position on the channel with me. I know, prestigious stuff. If you want in on it, thinking of a number between 1 and 15, if you are the comment I am thinking of, you will be on after UCF Jaguar to discuss the offensive line with me here on the channel. So make sure you comment down below if that's something you are interested in right here, right now. I'll give you a second. Okay, good. You should be commented by now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us dive into what this video topic is going to be about. And I love to share my optimism with all of you. And I want to talk about why 2019 is going to be a year to remember. Now, is it going to be a year to remember for the good or for the bad? I think this 2019 Jacksonville Jaguar squad is getting slept on and has potential to do some work next year. This is why 2019 is going to be a year to remember for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now I think the most obvious reason that next year is going to be such a great year is because it's the franchise 25th anniversary. So you know that this has to be something special. Like that's why they have put the pieces to the puzzle together right now because they know how important it is to the fans that they have some success for their 25th anniversary. Now this season will be a letdown if we do anything less than go to the Super Bowl. And I know that sounds silly, and it sounds like a hot take. But with this team we have now, we're not going to have a team like this ever again. And the thing is, there are some key pieces that we're going to be without this year that we had in 2017. That's what made 2017 so special. You know, like Telvin Smith. I mean, Aaron Colvin, if you want to make that argument. But we are also better in certain positions as well in 2019 than we were in 2017. Uh, guys also that left, you know, like Deshaun Gibson, Barry Church, but we got two young safeties in the back that are just waiting to be discovered. And I am so excited to see how those two young guys play. We still have Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye, which is still the best corner one and corner two tandem in the whole NFL right now. And that's not even a debate. The secondary is not as good as it was in 2017, but the fact that they still have two, in my opinion, top five corners in the NFL, that's all they really need. You know, Todd Wash is going to have to work with this defense, develop a good game plan in order for it to work. So that really means not a lot of zone plays because, you know, Jalen and AJ and DJ, you know, in those situations, you got to be trusted to go one on one with these guys because we got some inexperienced guys on the back end. And, you know, there's going to be some growing pains with them, I'm sure. You know, when we face like the Drew Breeses and the Patrick Mahomes, you know, this secondary is going to be. They're going to be tested. You know, they're going to be tested deep because these are experienced quarterbacks that have an opportunity to go up against these young safeties that, you know, otherwise don't have too much experience. But it's going to be exciting to watch to see how these two young guys respond to that adversity. It's going to be very, very fun to watch. And like I said, there's some guys that we're not going to have again on this team, and that two of them are becoming a little bit more evident as time moves on. Now, Yannick Ngakwe might not even play in 2019 if we don't extend him. So that should be the first and foremost priority because Yannick Ngakwe, trust, is going to be a legendary pass rusher by the time he calls it a career. With this man's work ethic, how hard, you know, his work ethic, how hard he works, he comes to work every day, his ability on the field, everything from top to bottom, Yannick Ngakwe is a star, and he is somebody that the Jaguars need to extend because him and Calais Campbell are one of the top five best pass rushing duos in the league. Even though Calais Campbell is getting up there in age, this guy is still dominant and is still one of the most reliable players on this Jaguar defense. Yannick Ngakwe, no different. He knows how to get the ball out of the quarterback's hands. He strips the ball out like no other, which is another reason why we need to extend him. And Calais Campbell, he's not getting any younger, so who knows? This might be even be a regression year for Calais Campbell. Let's hope it's not, because we're here for optimism, not pessimism. So, you know, Calais Campbell is a guy that's not getting any younger. You know, how more, how much more dominant years he has. And, I mean, we have Josh Allen to boot uh, to come in later on. 
you know, Josh Allen's a guy that I'm also very excited for. A lot of this rookie class is going to be very exciting to watch in 2019. Even in the preseason, guys like Gardner Minshew rocking the Washington State 1998 Rose Bowl sweater, by the way. And y'all act like I've never seen a Gardner Minshew game. Do not be silly. We get to watch him play in the preseason. You know, the new backup quarterback. We don't have to watch Chad Henney in the preseason again. We have an exciting rookie that maybe when Foles calls it a career, takes the reins and becomes our new franchise quarterback. I know it's weird to say that about a six-round draft pick, but with the leadership ability that Gardner Minshew has, he has that opportunity to take over this team. Now, there's just so many exciting players on this job where our team in 2019 that we have to be good. Like, we have to, have to, have to be good. And that's just on the defensive side of the ball where we are already 100% elite locked and loaded. You know, guys like Jalen Ramsey as well. If we don't give him the amount of money he wants, if we don't pay him, the, if we don't write the amount of zeros that he wants on that check and we don't agree with it, he's not going to stay here because somebody will give him that contract because he's the best corner in the league. He can talk about wanting to stay here as much as he wants to, but it really comes down to the Jaguars and what we do with him. But this is the last year we really have an opportunity to 100% know Jalen Ramsey is going to be on our team. So it's going to be exciting for him. You know he's going to ball out. He's going to show why he deserves that contract, and he's going to play like the best corner in the league. A.J. Boye as well. I expect him to have a better season in 2019 than he had in 2018. Try to reach back to his 2017 form. You know, 2018, like I, I seen when uh, Adam Rank, he was doing uh, what he thinks each team's going to be next year. He said with the job wires, just let 2018 be a bad memory. And I agree with that. Let's just let 2018 be a bad memory. Because, you know, we talk about how the league doesn't want us to win. And, you know, the league doesn't want these small market teams to win Super Bowls. But what do they like? They like selling tickets and they like having storylines uh, in games. So what better storyline is it than to have Nick Foles take two teams to the Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl for two franchises that never won one? How good is that storyline? And there's no better time to do it than the 25th anniversary for the Jaguars, the last year on Jalen Ramsey's contract, Nick Foles' first year in town, than for that to happen. And, you know, that's how the NFL works. You want your storyline? There it is. Give, give Nick Foles a Super Bowl with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the fact is, he makes this team so much better on the offensive end. All these wide receivers that, you know, if you're not a Jags fan, you know, you're just a casual NFL fan. You look at these wide receivers the Jaguars have. You know, guys like D.D. Westbrook, guys like Marquise Lee. You think, oh, these are average guys. You know, they would never start anywhere else. These guys automatically become better wide receivers because the work that you had to judge off them before were with a significantly less quarterback. I hate dishing on Blake Bortles. I really do because that was my guy for a really, really long time. But the fact of the matter is, you got to take a step back and look at how bad the quarterback play was in 2018. Yes, he had some shining moments in 2017, but he was never on an elite caliber level. Nick Foles is a guy that, yes, he hasn't started a full 16 games at an elite caliber level, plays in the most important mem in the most important moments in an NFL game, in an NFL Super Bowl, he's played like an elite caliber quarterback. I want this to be a situation where the Eagles are going to be just kicking themselves because they're like, we should have signed Nick Foles back. That was our guy. He's been with us through thick and thin. We let him go to Jacksonville. What does he do? He wins another Super Bowl for the Jaguars. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to be an exciting year. I think Nick Foles is going to be able to develop these wide receivers to the next level and they can play like the wide receivers they were supposed to be coming out of college. You know, when you have Blake Bortles as your quarterback, you know, you're not going to be excited. But now that you have Nick Foles out there throwing you the ball accurately, you have guys like Keelan Cole, who is really shining so far in these mini camps. You know, he's going to be able to develop into the next level player that he could be and in 2017 he showed those flashes that he could be an elite caliber wide receiver guys like Marquise Lee who's already so clutch on third down catches it make sure that they move the chains is going to be even more clutch on third downs is going to be even more of a clutch wide receiver now that he has Nick Foles as his quarterback guys like D.D. Westbrook who really emerged last year got over 700 yards receiving he could be an 1,000-yard receiver. I've said on here that I don't think the Jags truly have a 1,000-yard receiver, but he can be. He can be a 1,000-yard receiver with Nick Foles if he continues to play at that dominant level like he did um, last year in 2018. Though the team wasn't good, D.D. Westbrook definitely was a shining star on this offense. And you guys as fans should be excited, optimistic. Like, don't lose 
Hope and don't lose optimism until about week four of the season. After week four of the season, we'll know. Because we have a really hard three-game stretch to start off the season. I'm saying if the Jags go and they beat Kansas City at home week number one, this team is the team in the AFC this year. That's what the Jaguars are. There's a lot riding on this week one game against Kansas City. And I'm very excited to watch it. Because this is your... You know, last year's defending AFC cha- uh, champion runner-up against this year's AFC champion runner-up. And then a game that we played the Chiefs last year, sure, on paper, it looked like we got killed. But we were in such good situations. We picked Nick Fol- I mean, uh, we picked Patrick Mahomes off two, three times. Most interceptions he had in a game up to that point. And we were playing well enough to win. You know, we get Nick Foles in there in that situation with Leonard Fournette and these guys. And, the, like, you know the secondary for Kansas City isn't that great. There's a chance the Jags might win that game. And do you know what that's going to do for the momentum of the team and the momentum of the fans? This 25th season is going to be one to remember. And you guys are going to want to sit back, relax, and enjoy Jaguar football because this could be the year. I mean, you know, you're a fan, yes, and you think that every year. But this year... Feels like it could just be that year. It's glad that 2018 isn't dampening our hopes because I truly think 2019 is going to be a year for the books for the Jaguars. And that was why 2019 will be a year to remember for the Jaguars. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.